This is MSI GL62M7RD. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add another hard drive. My name is Irvin, also known as Koboman. Thank you for stopping by. For this, you will just need a Phillips head screwdriver, just like this one. As you can see, factory seal label is still there, so I haven't uh, opened it up yet. So I'm not 100% sure what to expect once I open it, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. And since I'm an IT professional, this shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. So the first thing I'm going to do is break the factory seal, which has a screw underneath. And I'm going to unscrew it. And for the rest of them, I'm going to do the same. There's one more. Well, there's, <laughs> there's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 screws including this one, which makes it 16 total. So I'm going to fast forward to that to help speed this up. Okay, so with all the screws unscrewed, what I'm going to do is just gently lift that up because I'm assuming that's how it's going to go. I left some screws inside. They are unscrewed and loose, so I'm just going to leave them in there and I'm going to make sure that I don't flip the whole thing over and lose any screws. So I'm just going to lift it. I'm going to put it aside. So I'm going to lift it and put it aside. So take your time while you're doing this. Looks like it's slowly separating. Don't force nothing. Go from edge to edge. Just to kind of lift gently. Because I'm not sure if there's anything else attached underneath. I did come across an issue here. The audio jacks, it's kind of difficult to take it off the audio jacks. So I'm going to lift it like this. I'm going to try to slide it that way to get it off the audio jacks. Again, don't force nothing. Okay, there we have it. So the tip here is just gently angle it like this, it will eventually slide off. All right. Let me actually turn it this way so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, from the looks of it, it uh, looks like it has really good you know, cooling here for the uh, CPU and the GPU, which is great. Um, the first thing we can do here is actually add more RAM if we really wanted to, so it's really simple right there. This is my M.2 slot for the hard drive that is installed right there. And it's already installed there. And this is a 256 gigabyte, I believe, storage. And um, that means we can't use that since, um, although I do have an option to add a bigger one. But in, in our case, we're going to utilize this serial connection to install one of these hard drives. So we're just going to use that and add. Uh, this is. 500 gigabyte 
or you can do a one terabyte if you will and if you're interested there's a link in the description below but first we're going to remove this battery which looks like to be just one screw so the battery is just one screw here you gotta remove it just to be safe I think it would be fine without removing it but I'm going to remove it anyway because that's the proper way of doing it okay and I'm just gonna slide it out like that and there's our battery removed it's kinda interesting because you can actually see the physical batteries inside the plastic you don't normally see that anyways here there are no screws to use per se so I'm just gonna take this out and I'm just gonna put it in there like that okay this shouldn't take long so by the looks of it looks like it would go this way so that's actually pretty cool you can actually see the connectors going in like that and it you have, do have to lift it up a little bit like that so it goes in as so because you can see the connectors there's the power and there's the serial connection right there so we're just gonna keep it high up like that a little bit and we'll push and that's that doesn't look like there's anything else to attach to this which is a bit disappointing to be honest but I guess after that we just put our lid back on and put it in, in reverse of course after we put the battery back in and that should do it and then you put your screws back in that's all there is to it guys I hope you find this video helpful please let me know if you have any questions I'll gladly answer them for you or and uh, please like and share this video thank you so much Again, links in the description for the laptop and for the hard drive. Best of luck. Have a good day. Bye-bye.